Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the New York Yankees and the Toronto Blue Jays. It's Blue Jays baseball, and it's on its way next. Trent Thornton is on the mound for game two. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy comes into this start, Matt, having lost two of his last three starts, so you know he wants to get off on the right foot in this one. One of the keys, getting outs early and establishing his off-speed pitch repertoire early on in this one. We'll see if he can do that in this one here today. Next for New York, Brett Gardner. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Gardner. First pitch coming, here it is. A ball of no strikes. And Dan D. Rowe, the Blue Jays, as they enter play here this afternoon, they come in trying to rebound after a loss that snapped a modest three-game winning streak. Yeah, Matty, the last game, uh, they, they, they got to wash that down the drain. They got absolutely boat raced by a big margin. They got to put that behind them, show up to the yard today, looking to fight. Everything changes once the first pitch is thrown. Popped into the air, back behind second. Panic is under this one. And he's got it for out number one. That accepted. The third baseman, Gio Urshela. Standing in, Gio Urshela. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. First pitch coming, here it is. So far this season, Urshela is carrying around a batting average in the 320s. That's what you might call potent. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business. And maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Aaron Judge. Now to the plate, Aaron Judge having a very nice year, currently second in the American League in batting average entering play. Fantastic season all the way around. Not only does this guy just get on base by base hits, but he also leads the league in slugging percentage, so he's up there doing a lot of damage. First pitch of the at-bat. Oh. Fastball just inside. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is James Kingsley. Dan, I know I was an offensive player, but I'm okay being a pitcher's umpire. If you're going to consistently pound that outer half, James Kingsley's usually going to give it to you. Hey, listen, there's a reason why the pitchers throughout the league, they call him the king of the hill. You move the ball a little bit off the strike zone, he's not afraid to put that arm up. He's a very good pitcher's umpire. Ready to deal. Here's the 2-1. Got him swinging on the splitter that time, and with that, the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Yankees nothing, Blue Jays coming to bat. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Jay Happ, a southpaw from Illinois, gets the starting call in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. So striding in, Joe Panic. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half Leading of the first. For Toronto, the second baseman, Joe Panic. And now pitch on the way. 1-1. 
Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They've got to be considered the hottest team in baseball right now as they come in winners of nine of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused in playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Cold strike as the slider gets the outside corner. Hap has logged upwards of 100 innings of work on the mound. And he's worked to a 1.10 whip in that time. Just a little over a base runner per inning. Very impressive. Heading out towards shallow right. Judge is under it. Two down. Batting third, the third baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Into the box now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMahieu at second. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him and the inning is over. Blue Jays go down in order. Still no score. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He's, of course, a long ball threat, currently third in the American League in that category. You know, Matty, when I think of this guy, I think of damage near the league leaders in RBIs as well, Dero. That's the stat that I think gets overlooked so much in today's game. I remember back to Chipper Jones. He used to say, how many biscuits can you put in a basket? Runs and ribbies. And he certainly has a knack for being able to drive in that big run. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. And that's going to be high two and two now. Here it comes. Now a swing and a miss, and Stanton is down on strikes for round number one. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand, so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. To the plate now, Gary Sanchez. As he tries to go out and get the slider, but it's not there. It's strike one. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. 22 home runs and 55 driven in. The 0-1. Nope. One and one. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Hits this one hard the other way, but that finds its way through for a base hit. And he'll pull into second with one away. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. The pitcher spotted his pitch down the zone right there below the knee. Offensive player was all over it. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. He's looking to get things going at the plate. It has not been going his way of late.
First pitch on its way. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. No score here as we play inning number two. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. To one and two now. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Richard back to the track as he takes it for out number two. That is better. The designated hitter, Tyler Wade. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade, runner in scoring position with Sugan. First offering on its way. Hey. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Ball one. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. From the stretch, the one two. Still a ball and two strikes. One and two. Here it is. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees DH. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. The payoff pitch sent on the ground out to second, fielded by Panic. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Yanks leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Set to go now. Mortis Guriel. And we'll see if he can get out of this little dry spell he's stuck in. Not much offensively coming from him lately. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball left outside. The 1 0. There's a fastball that misses. In past meetings with Jay Happ, the pitcher zoned him. He's a paltry 1 for 11. Now the 2 0. Ball three. Well that sets up a big pitch right here Matt because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Three of those pitches were definitely out of the zone but that last pitch looked pretty darn good to me. You're not usually going to get many favorable calls on three and oh though. You have to earn that spot. 
faced Randall Gritchick at the plate now. He enters play with 14 home runs to his credit this year. First pitch of the at bat. Strike one to start the at bat. Guriel on at first, nobody out. And he fouls this one off. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Misses, ball two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Off the black and it's even at one. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. Boy he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now. He took the hat trick with three strikeouts yesterday and here's another one today. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact. Rowdy Tellez the next to bat as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Yanked on the ground down the line. And a reach but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Two seamer fighting to get inside, and he closed the screen door right there. Nice base hit down the line. Into the box now, Danny Jansen. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. Set up away with the changeup, but it's 1 and 1. 
Runners on first and third, two away. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Two and one, here it is. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. The 2 2 pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Blue Jays leave a pair. We'll move to the third with no score. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone pretty textbook pitching right there jump ahead and account O2 and then start working outside the zone easier said than done but that's the way you do it. Standing in now Luke Voigt. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. 276, the average coming in for him. 15 long balls and 38 runs batted in. Fouled off. Third inning, no score to this point. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Good heater to strike him out there, and he looks absolutely locked in to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back punch outs on only six pitches. Here's Brett Gardner now. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hit hard on the ground is short, right to him. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So the Yanks go 1, 2, 3. Home half of the third coming up, no score. Derek Fisher the next to bat. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Derek Fisher. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Smoke the other way. High and deep to left. And that is off the wall. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. You could hear the solid contact all the way up here. And I thought we were going to have our first run of the game right there. Gets all the way to the fence, but it stays in the park. So he'll have to be okay with the double. Here's Joe Panic. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Down the first baseline.
He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. One ball, two strikes, Captain. No one out with a runner at second. Here's a weakly hit fly ball off to the left side. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And the runs across to score, and the Jays will take an early 1-0 lead. Back-to-back -back doubles now, and that's a great way to get an inning going. The leadoff man shows him how it's done, and he comes right behind him following suit. Lacing a double of his own could be a big inning if this continues. Stepping in now, Bo Bichette. Ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1 0. Hey! A runner at second, nobody out. Now, pitch runs in on him here, and all he can do is flare one foul off to the right side. Lays off to 1-2 changeup, and he's worked it back to 2-2. Two and two. Now a fastball. Oh, look below the knees, but he rings him up anyway, and there's one gone. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. So now to the plate, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. No balls in one strike. Runner at second here with one man out. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. One ball, one strike. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. He's fallen behind now, three and one. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Here's a swing and a miss at the off-speed pitch. It's a full count now, three and two. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit change up or do you stay with the heater? Gardner is there now and he has it. Two gone. Now that not your stop. Morton. Goody hell. Man at second here with two away. And that brings up the exciting Lourdes Guriel Jr. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Oh, that's down. Ready with the 1-0. Hey. Swung on and chopped up the middle. But Mayhew towards second. He's got it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. A run for the Jays thanks to the RBI double. We played three full. It's now 1-0 Toronto. Ball 
all set for the start of the fourth. And set to go is the third baseman, Gio Urshela. Gio Urshela. First delivery to him on the way. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a liner. Foul. Outside and a full count, three and two. Great A-B up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Line shot to first, and there's one away. The right fielder, number 99. Aaron Judge. Settling in now, Aaron Judge. And if you didn't know, he was recently awarded the American League Player of the Month Award. First offering on its way. Way the 0 1 pitch fouled away. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch, and that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes, and the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter, and it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Now the 1-0. -oh. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. Three oh, and O oh now. No surprise here that they're working around this big boy. Certainly not going to let this guy tie the game up with something fat out over the heart of the plate. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for the Yankees so far. And this one misses for ball four, and the Yankees get a base runner here with two away. This is only their second base runner of the game after that earlier hit. Tough to score when you don't have anyone on base, so we'll see if they can get something going here. Riding in once again, Gary Sanchez. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. The 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. A runner on first with two away. Outside, two and one. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to fix around this guy a little bit. Strike two as he locks him up there. Uh, 
Right. Slider freezes him at the plate. A called third strike, and the inning comes to a close. One left for the Yankees. They still trail 1-0. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Here's Randall Gritcher. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Riga for Toronto. The right fielder. Randall. Gritcher. First pitch coming. Here it is. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Ball. Down and away, ball one. I got one ball, one strike. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Fly ball right down the line and left. Stanton has a read on it. And he hauls it down in the corner. Now batting, left fielder, Day off girl, Hernandez. Stepping into the box to Oscar Hernandez. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Connie looked like a caveman swing and a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam sandwich. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. For me, check swings are right there next to bang now bang plays at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 0. And 2 0 now as this misses below the knees. Two balls, no fight. Three and oh now. Yeah, he's all over the place right now. No doubt he's clearly fighting his mechanics. Three and oh count. Here it comes. And that one's in there. Three and one. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two out base runner. The hitter was dug in looking for something to hit, but he would have needed a telephone pole to hit that thing way out of the zone. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning, and that'll bring in Danny Jansen. From the stretch, pulls this one in the air out to left. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We played four full. It's the Blue Jays one and the Yankees nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he told me he'd like to see a lot more aggressiveness in their at-bats the rest of the game. Too much of the time they're finding themselves in disadvantage counts like 0-2 and 1-2, and that's basically never a formula for success. 
He said they're getting a lot of strikes to swing at, so the emphasis the rest of the game has to be to jump on those strikes early in the at-bat. All right, thanks, Heidi. Stepping in, Torres. Fly down in his first at-bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Now some definite signs of life in that Toronto bullpen. Both a lefty and a right-hander begin to throw. Slap hard the opposite way. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. He'll get it into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of role they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. In now, Tyler Wade. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Oh and one, here it comes. Uh, no plate discipline that time, and he's in the hole now. Oh and two. That misses one and two. And he takes very close to the inside corner here. Two and two, though. He started this guy backwards. A couple of off-speed pitches early, followed by back-to-back -back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll take this to the bag himself for the first out. But it's a productive one as the runner moves up to third. Now battle. The second baseman. DJ LeMay. Now with the plate, D.J. LeMayhew, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Here comes the first pitch. Lifted in the air to center field. Fisher's under it. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And the run will hey. score on the sacrifice fly as that'll square things at one to one. The first base. Stepping into the box, Luke Voigt comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Time to be aggressive with these hitters now. After that sack fly, now it's time to try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. The wind up and the 0 1 behind 0 and 2 now nothing in two count and the pitch and he struck him out his seventh of the ball game and that ends the inning so one run on one hit no errors and no one left last half of the fifth coming up all tied at one and one Set now for the bottom of the fifth and standing in the outfielder, Derek the Fisher. Derek Fisher. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And that's in there for strike one. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Grounded up the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. The pitch. And he looks at a ball, 1-2. and two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Wow, that's one of the toughest pitches in baseball to hit, right? That good straight changeup, up El Cambio. There's not much you can do with that. You're going off of that no. arm speed and the ball, it just doesn't get there. Yeah. 
At the plate now, Joe Panic. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. One for two in the ball game thus far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. 1 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's two yep. balls and a strike to the Jays' leadoff batter. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Gets the sign, here comes the 2 1. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind 3 and 1. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that will fall in front of Stanton. It's a base hit. Throw into second. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Next will be the designated hitter, Bo Bichette. First delivery to him on the way. Good take there to lay off the high fastball. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. One run, four hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. After it is Gardner. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Now back, third baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. At the plate, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He flew out in his last at bat. On its way is pitch number 75. One, no Down on the shins and missed with it. Ball one. Hey. A good tailing fastball for a strike. One and one. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Judge is under it. He hauls it in, and the potential go-ahead run will not come around to score. Blue Jays held in check. We played five full, tied at one aside. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Brett Gardner. Brett Gardner. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. At the ball. Count one and oh. Ball, that's out. The 2 0 on the way. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. Oh. Got through the fifth, all right, but it looks like he's a little off kilter here to start the sixth. Rio is in there for strike one. The three and one pitch takes a strike for a full count now, three and two. Hey, excellent job to get yourself back in this count after throwing three consecutive balls. You got a chance to get an out right here.
the 3 2 pitch. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. It looked like this at bat had the makings of a leadoff walk when it started 3 0. So that's a good job not to give in and battle back to earn the strikeout. That's not always easy to do. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. I got a ball, one strike. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. in the air down the line in left and this will wind up a foul ball he got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it and this will ricochet off of him on the mound thankfully he's yeah. able to recover and he gets the second out at first and now time now to right see quite right. where that got yeah. him and it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. In now, Aaron Judge. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First pitch on its way. Nope. Hey, this one's tied late in the game. As a pitcher right now, you just can't lay a cookie in there 1-0. Oh. And a strike to even the count. 1-1. One and one. He sends Hernandez. Has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. 1-2-3 go the Bombers. Score remains deadlocked at 1. Digging in to try it again. Lourdes Guriel. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here's the first pitch to him. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1-1. One one. Blue Jay shortstop with a one and two count. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well thrown changeup. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Well, pitching domination continues. Just a total of two runs on the board. The right so field. both Number of these starters 15. should feel really Thank good God. about their showings. If you right love good it. pitching, this has been the game for you. Into the box now, Rendell Gritcher. This will go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Oh and one here it comes waved at and missed and he's behind oh and two nothing in two count and the pitch on oh, you can tell he wanted to hold off but he swings through the inside pitch anyway and he becomes out number two just tied him up with that last now pitch. Back. Pretty evident by the swing. Sometimes guys get in that protect mode so much that they're swinging at everything that they see and they end up offering at pitches that they can't possibly do anything with. Teoscar Hernandez digging in now. 
as he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. No hits to this point. The wind up and the 0 1. Mm, got him out on his front foot. It's 0 and 2. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. Trying to strike him out for the third time. And a classic 0 2 pitch as the changeup misses low, and it's 1 and 2 now. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0 and 2 count. Now another 1 2. On the ground and right at the shifted infielders. He's got a hurry, and the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. Still tied, one apiece. Wilmer Font is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 63, Wilmer. Riding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Here comes the first pitch. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Here comes the 0 1. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. And it's fouled away. The one two misses ball two. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. When you're playing close games like this base runners mean everything so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Fastball strike three called on the outside corner and a pretty generous corner at that as that's the first down of the inning. Well no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches but not this time. I think that was actually a good take but on two strikes anything that close can go either way. At the plate Gary Sanchez as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. One out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. The 1-1 one, one home. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Hey, from a pitcher's standpoint, sometimes the greatest pitch is the slider that backs up. He got away with that one. But he wants that thing to bury down the way. The one two. The bouncer to the left side. That gets through and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line them. Drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two strike adjustment. Able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Standing in now, Torres. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. Gritchett is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now that designated hitter, Tyler. In Wade. now is the Yankees' DH, Tyler Wade. He was a ground out victim last time up. He's set, and the pitch. Oh. 
Count 1-0. Oh. The 1-0. Oh. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Hard hit ball to second. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And that's going to move that go-ahead run to second now with two gone. Now that second baseman, DJ LeMahieu. And that sends DJ LeMahieu into the box. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. First offering on its way. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. The 0 1 offering. In the dirt. Throw over to third here, and it's too late as he's in there. Second and third, two away. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. All even now, two and two. Even a two and two. The pitch. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. And here's a ball hit in the air. Long run for the right fielder. And he brings it down to end the inning as the go-ahead run is left stranded. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. All tied at one and one. Your Zach Britton please. gets the call from the now pen to take over three. on the mound and start the Number home seventh. Zach Britton. At the plate, Rowdy Tellers. It was a walk run. in his last trip. The first baseman. Number 44. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Split fingered fastball there inside 2 0. Oh. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2 0 oh doesn't exactly help the situation very much. Pitch on the way. He's behind on the swing there, and the count moves to three and two. Looped under that one with that swing, which tells me he was probably anticipating it being a sinker. Now the three and two pitch. Hit hard down the line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And 
And another foul ball. Once again, a 3 2. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You can just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. Up next is Danny Jansen. Out in front of it, strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. one count here's the pitch that's over but low it's a ball and a strike bases are empty one man out two and one that's where he wants that sinker to end up but that was a nice job of laying off This is line to left. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Taking another look at it, the ball has some top spin on it, but he's on the full run and dives to make the catch. Nice defensive play right there. So striding forward now, Derek Fisher. A hit in two tries for him so far. He's set. Here it comes. And that's cut on and missed 0 1. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Blue Jays go down in order. Score remains tied one to one. You're Sam Gavilio has been summoned from now the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 43. Sam Gavilio. Digging in, Luke Voigt. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, big time K last Ooh. time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1 0. Oh. That evens it up 1 and 1. Now the pitch. All two. Couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Sinker, three and two now. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Now the three and two pitch. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. And as Yankees fans here on television quite frequently, see ya. A solo shot here to left as they've taken a one run lead. What a great piece of clutch hitting right there to give his boys the lead. Going to put a lot of pressure on the opposition after score with only six outs to go. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. 
as he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. The 2-0. Too tight with oh, that one. 3-0. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. Here's the 3-0. He loses him on ball four. And with the bases empty and three balls, I think they were probably just saying, hey, we're not going to compound our mistakes here. Better issue a free pass and give him something to drive. Stepping in, Gio Urshela. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. No balls and a strike to count. A runner at first with no outs here. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. Drilled on the ground to short. Scooped up to panic covering. On to first, and they turn the double play. The right field, number 99. Boy, and that's a great play there at short. He's forced to go to the backhand and then pivot on that right leg to throw against the momentum of his body. These guys make it look easy. That's one you can definitely launch into right field if you're not under control. Digging in now, Aaron Judge. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that misses for ball one. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Fisher's under it. And that retires the side. The Yankees do get one on the solo homer. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. Two to one, New York. Chad Green is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 57. Chad. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Joe Pennant. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Ball one to start the at bat. Offered a low one there, but came up empty. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The 1-1. One, one. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. 
You never want to take the aggression away from a ball player, but in this situation, I'd like to see the leadoff guy try and work the count a little bit more, especially when this pitcher's missing like he is. One and two, here it comes. Oh, and that runs in and gets him. So now the potential tying run is aboard to lead off the inning. Wow, you never want the tying run on base, especially that way. Looked like he lost his release point, and the ball ran inside until it caught him. Now we'll see if he can work around it. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Striding forward now is the D.H. Bo Bichette. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that's taken for strike one. Especially after drilling the last guy up at the plate. That's just a great job to get your mechanics back onto you and establish yourself back in the strike zone. He said, here's the 0 1. Hit back up the middle. Torres brings it in. LeMayhew for one. Back to first and a costly at bat there as the possible tying run is erased on the double play. Well, they got the tying run on base, but one ground ball later and it's gone. He's going to be frustrated with himself after that. So base is empty now after the double play. And that'll give way to the third baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. First pitch on its way. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Hey, no shame in that. Your eyes light up when that heater comes above the belt. That's so tough to lay off of. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. They're down 2-1. Kevin Biggio will stay in the ballgame now as he comes on to play second here. Now playing second base, number eight, Kevin Biggio. Thomas Pannon enters from the pen to start the ninth Double inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder Giancarlo Stanton. Infield in the overshift here now the pitch. 1-0. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Waiting on it is Hernandez. One out. Now batting. Catcher. Gary Sanchez. Digging in, Gary Sanchez. He's two for three and looking for more here. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope. And a layoff fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1-0. and And some action now in the Toronto bullpen as a right-hander starts to get loose. The 1-0 home is looked at for ball number two. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed, then he's late on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. 
fouled off. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. And a swing and a miss here. And the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely now lost that. at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They really got him figured out. Stepping in now, Torres. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Hit the target, but this is low. Two and one. Two out, nobody on. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. Tyler Wade would be next. And that one's taken outside for a ball. He walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Tyler Wade. Man at first after the two-out walk. From the stretch. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Two out with the man at first. That's to the left and foul. One ball, one strike. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. The Yanks leave one as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. So with a safe situation on tap, they'll hand the ball over to a formidable force indeed. The very hard throwing left-hander Aroldis Chapman. So here's the cleanup hitter, Mortis Guriel. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. Sinker runs outside to start the at bat 1 and 0. One and one. Down the first baseline. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Now here's the pitch. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Stanton is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you can see there, he's currently in fifth place in that department in the AL race. 
Now at the plate, Randall Gritcher. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. One ball, no strikes to count. A ball and a strike. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Now the one and one pitch. Fouled away. One out, nobody on. To two balls and two strikes now. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Takes this the other way to right. And that's going to get your tying run in scoring position as it ought to be good for extra bases. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Now that's the at-bat they needed. Bases empty, one out, down one in the ninth. He's got to find a way, any way to get on base. And he does more than that, getting into scoring position here. We've got a great finish on our hands, guys. Stepping in for the Jays to Oscar Hernandez. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. First delivery to him on the way. Nope. He'll start him with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's 1-0. Two and zero oh to the Jays' left fielder. No break. No problem laying off the sinker in, and he's in a golden spot. Three and zero. Oh. Good comeback there. It's three and one. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here. So we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. The three and one pitch. And that's low ball four. The closer is supposed to slam the door on his opponent, but he left the door now wide that. open with a walk there. We'll see if they can capitalize on it. So stepping in, Rowdy Tellers, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ready. Here's the first offering. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. A roll this Chapman. They called the Cuban missile. Well, he needs to start firing some bullets right here. He's in trouble, but I would bet against him getting out of this mess. Now Asenka runs in on him a bit as he's got to step out of the way there. One one. There's a sinker that misses for a ball. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. On 
finally got him to chase after a bad one there. Two and two. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. The 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities, and when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. So now to the plate, Danny Jansen. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. One 0 pitch coming and he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike two big outs here but the tying and winning runs are both out there the sinker misses that time and it's two and one. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Final strike for the Blue Jays. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. He set the three-two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Two big outs here, but the tying and winning runs are both out there. And it's fouled away. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. And he will make the catch with ease. And the Yankees have claimed the fourth consecutive victory here as this ball game is over. Four wins in a row for these guys. And I'm sure they're feeling pretty good about themselves. We'll see how long they can keep this up. Pitching and defense game 2-1 to one, the final score this afternoon. The Yankees came through late taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Zach Britton gets the win in relief, his sixth of the season. Aroldis Chapman hammers down the save, his 22nd. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.